Hello, my name is Paul DeSels, Product Manager for the Turning Product Line. Mastercam 2018 brings a number of additions and improvements to the Turning products. We have added support for tailstock components as well as live centers, either in the tailstock component or mounted in the turret. Spindle tool locators for B-axis heads give you a realistic view of your tools mounted on the machine. Numerous toolpath improvements have been made. Dynamic lathe now allows you to define the non-cutting portion of the insert, enhancing your control over the toolpath motion. Lathe rough now includes section turning, allowing you to break up the selected area into smaller cutting portions. Separate speeds and feeds have been added into the semi-finish option. Chip break has been added to the face and finish operations, and the lathe face operation now supports tool inspection cycles. These additions and improvements increase your efficiency and capabilities when using the lathe and mill turn products. Mastercam 2018 brings improved motion to the lathe dynamic rough toolpath. The most noteworthy improvement is a new option to prevent upcutting. Upcutting can occur when the tool is moving away from the center line and engaging material in a way that could pull the insert from the holder. Enabling the Prevent Upcutting option allows you to specify the portion of the insert that cannot be used for cutting material. Regenerate your toolpath and backplot to see the altered motion. The insert no longer engages material with the defined portion. Rough turning operations have been enhanced with several new options in Mastercam 2018. A significant addition is section turning found on the Rough Parameters tab. Section turning provides options that divide a rough operation into several steps, similar to depth cuts in milling. Instead of roughing through a lot of material, you can now divide those passes by a number, or set an exact length or equal lengths. These options are useful for avoiding part flex, dispersing heat, and providing more room for chip removal. While Semi-Finish has been in Mastercam for several releases, control over feed and speed of those passes has not. This functionality has been added to Semi-Finish for Mastercam 2018, giving you greater control over the quality of the cut. Options to support section turning have also been added to the Semi-Finish Parameters dialog box, allowing you to determine when and where to create Semi-Finish passes. Mastercam 2018 brings two new options to the face turning operation, tool inspection and chip break. These new options are found on the face parameters tab. Chip break allows you to choose length or time to specify how much material is allowed to be pulled off in a given chip. Options are available for the retract distance and dwell for those times you are cutting a particularly sticky material or creating a thicker chip. Tool inspection options allow you to pause the facing operation and move the tool to a safe location where it can be inspected for wear and general condition. You can control when and where a pause will occur, giving you maximum control over safety, part finish, and tool life. Mastercam 2018 has added a chip break option for finish turning operations. Found on the Finish Parameters tab, you control the tool's motion to prevent the bundle of chips that can commonly occur when turning. 
Choose length or time to specify how much material is allowed to be pulled off in a given chip. Options are available for the retract distance and dwell, for those times you are cutting a particularly sticky material or creating a thicker chip. Mastercam 2018 includes a new tailstock operation strategy for mill turn machines. The new tailstock operation strategy is located on the mill turn turning tab in the part handling gallery. In the tailstock operations dialog, you choose a strategy and then set parameters for each of the operations included in the strategy. Use tailstock operations to quickly create a set of operations to load a center tool, move to stock clearance, and, if applicable, advance the quill. The available tailstock options differ depending on the selected machine. For example, not all machines allow quill actions. You can also create a set of tailstock operations to retract the quill and tailstock and unload the center tool. Mastercam 2018 adds a new center point toolpath for mill turn machines. And the Mastercam 2018 tool database now supports center tool definitions. This new toolpath is located on the mill turn turning tab in the part handling gallery. Use the center point toolpath when you need to mount a center tool in a turret and engage the tool for live center support. A separate center point toolpath is programmed to disengage the center tool when it is no longer needed. Mastercam 2018 brings tool locators to the spindle for B-axis heads, further building on the turret tool locators added for Mastercam 2017. Spindle tool locators enable proper positioning of tools in the B-axis head. In Mastercam 2017, a tool in the B-axis head would generally have its compensation point along the center line of the head. Mastercam 2018 supports spindle tool locators for greatly improved collision detection and a clear representation of how the tool is mounted in the machine. Additionally, multi-station tool locators are supported. This allows for realistic simulation of machine tool change motion. Instead of moving all the way to tool change position, the spindle can move to any given point specified by the user, index the locator, and quickly get back to cutting. These new locators are fully utilized in collision detection, including all tools mounted in the locator, regardless of which tool is currently cutting.